YouTube people with the guitars. Uh, it's new pedal day uh, for me and uh, for you because apparently if I manage to pull this off to upload this today, which is, I don't know if that's today for you, then it's new pedal day because um, Source Audio from Le Boston have uh, released a new pedal. Now you know the Ventress, which is the <laughs> reverb in the Nemesis, which is the <laughs> um, delay. And uh, they thought, well, what if someone wants a little bit less, <laughs> a little bit less, <laughs> And, but still a lot. That's pretty much what they did with the Collider. Um, so they released a delay reverb combination, which is kind of the hip thing to do right around now. Like right now. Take in all the nowness while I coffee drink. Mmm, no coffee maker. So, uh, yeah, the Collider combines a lot of the great algorithms from the Ventress and the Nemesis into a combined pedal. The, I have to get this right in my head. The Ventress has a dual reverb engine, which means you can stack reverbs on top of each other, which is great if you want to, but kind of useless if you don't. So what if you take the second engine from the Ventress and use it for delay? Well, that would make a lot of sense. So they took exactly the same platform that the Ventress has and stuck delays in it, in the other engine. And it looks like this. In the box, you will find a cable from a mini something jack to a big thing so that you can hook up your phone if it has that connection. If you have an iPhone, you need the adapter to use the Neuro app to program it, which is pretty damn cool from your phone. So, yep, that's in the box. In the box is also a power supply, which not everyone does. They do, and I applaud them on it. And also there's feet in there somewhere for the pedal. I applaud them on that as well. Um, I would assume there's a big manual in there. I got a printed one written on it with Sharpie saying, don't tell anyone until, well, right now. So what you see here is relatively straightforward. Look at all the green, look at all the yellow. I love a good user interface, and this is as simple as it gets. Delay, even the plus or the and has a uh, green, yellow separation. Delay, reverb, delay, reverb. Everything green says delay, so there's regeneration or feedback, time, tone applies to both, and controller one, two, you have a little list that tells you what they do, or fiddle with them till you like it. Pretty straightforward. You have this switchy thing on the right. Knobs. Ah, what the knobs do. Mm. Delay. Now all the knobs control the green side. So you can see with my selector right here, I can select the delays and no more than that. I switch to reverb. I control the yellow. And then they have a lock in the middle. So whatever you do, it doesn't change anything. Um, the lock, uh, the middle uh, setting on the Ventures, of course, was to use both engines at the same time. So they gave it, because it's the same platform, they gave it a function, which is no function. <laughs> Pretty smart. You have a uh, preset select. Very simple. Click, click, click. Go through the presets. Hold to save. And um, well, you have reverb on off. 
Or if you wanted to hold it in, I think. No, that uh, cycles through presets. Wasn't there something about a momentary function? There, I don't know what that does. While the reverb is engaged, which it is now, you can freeze the reverb for a reverb freezy hold function, which is by pushing this, and we shall try that. I don't know if I can do that while playing. Um, and then on the left, you turn that on, delay is on, but while it's on and you do quick taps, you can actually tap delay tempo, delay time, tap, tappy tap, which is a pretty clever way of doing it. So you just have to know to turn it off. You have to be a little bit longer, see? A little bit longer, and then it goes click, relay-ish. Um, there are subdivisions, quarter, dotted eighth, and triplets. Yeah. Don't you wish we were done? On the side, you see that it's a stereo pedal. We're not going to do that because we have no time for that. MIDI in, and on the other side, you can see stereo out and MIDI through. Um, there is a, an expression input, which can also be used to switch. I don't know what it's going to switch. There's a, a USB to connect to the Neuro app, which I would like to show you. You can probably do much more with this than it seems because it's source audio, but on the release day, all it would show me that it connected to the pedal, it showed the pedal, but no editing was available. Don't know why, so we're gonna skip that in this review. And then, 9 volt, and something I don't remember. Good, there's a great review already. So we're gonna start with the reverb side, turn that on, and I guess we go. Actually, we turn it off, so you can hear a clean sound. I'm using this pretty green thing, it's a Trampus Green PRS-CE24SH, semi-hollow. And um, it's very fat with the humbuckers and it pushes the amp quite a bit. No, it doesn't because my Peterson Strobo Stomp HD is still hot. Great tuner. And um, I just read today from Colin Scott, who made an amazing video about microphones and he used Lewitt mics and they always like, oh, it's, just a, it's just an ad. What's wrong with you people? Obviously, these are ads. Are you dumb? I'm sorry. Obviously, it's an ad. It's an informed ad. It's an ad where I'm going to say what I don't like. But obviously, the idea is to show you products so that you buy them, which is why Source Audio is paying me to make this video. This is how we make a living on YouTube. It's just an ad. Might be a good informative ad. Think about that. What's wrong about that? I see nothing wrong with that. So, fat, but a little bit fat, too fat. Pushes quite a bit, which is why we're gonna go into the single coil mode, which is great for the delays and reverbs. And that's the Tone King, Sky King, the mic with the Lewitt MTP440, buy it, links below. No, actually, no link, because Tomah doesn't carry that. Um, and then there's the Ox, Loaded with a 412 cream bag cab. Uh, you can buy that link below. See how I'm doing this? Obviously it's an ad. But I'll bitch about some stuff later. Skip to that if you want to hear the bitching. So that's a great sound. We're going to go to this. Uh, going to go to the right side. Going to go to room. Too big, too big, too big, too big. This is great for just a little bit of... Treble, bass, and modulation depth. Do we really have to go through all that stuff on every algorithm? Just know they do things. How about that? How about that? Big ass room there. Thank you. 
I usually skip the room algorithm because like, what the fuck? Why do I need a room? I'm sitting in a damn room. Give me the big... Whoa. How whoa. Can I make that bigger? She asked. Pre-delay. See when it bounces off the wall later. We're on algorithm one that rhymes. I would quit the review right here and say, go get it just for that. Holy shit balls. What are holy shit balls? I don't know. Let's not go there. Um, Hall. still have to be able to play. Okay, Hall works, Hall does something. That's the Hall size. True Spring. If I was Ryan from 60 Cycle Hum, I could do... Sadly, I don't know how to play surf music. Uh. <laughs> Something about that, I don't know. That is drippy. That's a lot of pre delay. Let's do none of that. And I don't know. Stuff, what, what does that do? Uh, plate size, spring length. We want a long spring. I bought that for a dollar. They said in some movie. Ah, come on, I can do this. That would be a good riff like thing.
obviously Shimmer. That's the guy from Friends, who was in the end with Rachel. Anyone? Dave? Leslie? Shimmer? Friend? No? That was a good one. Dave? Shimmer? David? <gasps> David Shit? Hmm. Come on! <laughs> works when it's subtle and it's not and this is absolutely beautiful Love it. What if I have that? even use that setting with the uh, kill dry on full mix to create synthy kind of textures or you could take the c4 synth pedal from uh, source audio which i could tell you more about if i had one but it wasn't in the box even though they promised it just saying I'm not shitting you guys. This is making me happy. This is... You know, I had a lot of stress lately. And then the woman is like, me, 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 all day long. But this... I mean, the delay isn't even on! Dave, who's leaving uh, back to uh, Detroit tomorrow. Chattakong Power, by the way, is uh, sitting over there. Um, 
we checked out the pedal together when he came in and he's like this is really cool that's really cool i want one i'm pretty sure after hearing all this he's gonna kill me tomorrow morning and take the pedal um holy crap hola e-dome i'm sorry this is a long video but wow <laughs> Swell is, it's, it's just a swell sound. Sensitivity and time. the collider that nothing collides so far everything i play should be trashing the mix but it ain't um i'm gonna go to shimmer and try something what does tone do well treble on all of them so we'll leave it here well how does it work with an overdrive let's see I have the KMA Audio Machines Logan on the table right there. works. Moving on, I'm switching to the delay side. I'm turning the, the reverb off and turn the delay on. To, we start on digital. Um, this is my time. Let's try to get a little bit of a slack, a slapbacky thing happening. I mess it up all the time. can it be? She asked.
was fun. Started eighth, we turned this on. So I'm gonna do one, two, so a little bit slower, a little bit more mix, a little bit less feedback. This camera looks too blue. which is not digital. You can do your own delay by actually playing guitar. Um, uh, modulation depth, modulation rate is what knob and one do on pretty much all of them. And this does dark and bright. See? modulaciones So what I want to know from an analog delay how does it work with overdrive and kind of schmoozen, schmooze, schmooze out my lead tone. You win, Mr. Collider. So far, you freaking win. Where am I? Oh. Tape. Tape. You think this was accident? No, it wasn't. Even though my mom claims this was an accident. Get great sounds there, and why in the world would we need an oil can delay? But we'll find out. Ah, this is 
is really badly white balanced because we were just at Guitar Summit and uh, that's still the white balance from Guitar Summit, I realize. You know what? We're gonna leave that because it gives you different options. <laughs> What you do now is, actually this is kind of really cool. I go to reverb, I turn it on, I put on my blue suede shoes, no. And I do that really cool room thing that I did earlier, no idea what I did. And here they are both and I'm locking it and now I can't change anything. You could do, if you wanted to, or you could do tapey whippy with a bit more feedback. Now that is clearly too much, but imagine that behind the lead sound, just not too much. So what we do is, less of that, less of that, a little bit less of that feedback, a little bit less decay, oh no, that's pre, a little bit less of that, and now we have... A little bit less of the wibbly wobbly, that's... Speed, I want a little bit less depth. I want a bit more of the shimmer.
Now that I should turn into a song. I mean, it's just A and D and E, but come on, how cool can A and D and E sound? sound even skid row doesn't give me ptsd so we're freaking done no no more leslie give me big it's usually what she says and i can't deliver i know it's a penis joke i don't know why you want to hear them but i'm here for you so the only thing the one only very tiny little thing i don't like we didn't try the freeze function you know what buy the damn thing try your own freeze function yeah, I want to save that, I hold that in, and done. And you can, of course, select them via MIDI. You can very likely control every parameter with MIDI, all that stuff, and the app, and the... <sighs> so the only thing I'm not super excited about is this little switch, because it is a remnant of the Ventress. It is on the Ventress, Engine 1, Engine 2, and then both engines, where it might have made sense because you're not using that function a lot. Here, in order to get to the second set of controls, you actually have to switch over, switch over, switch over. I wish, and I understand why they did it, because, well, the pedal was pretty much done. They just changed the software. The whole platform, processor, knobs, ins and outs, everything was done. They just fed it with different software and gave it uh, a new design. But I wish this was a push button in the middle that simply went click and it's green, click and it's red. So I can very quickly change between the two sides. Um, or maybe even, I don't know, you, they would have had to cut this out, illuminate the delay and reverb. That's a little, little, little bit much. Maybe just a little push button here like this one. Click, click, and it illuminates green or yellow, that's what I'm saying. Did I say red somewhere? Probably. Um, this, depending on how, right now it's pretty solid on the table. If it's not, I'm actually pushing it, you see how I'm pushing the pedal a little bit? I'm pushing it away. Um, it, it, it's a tie, I mean, it's literally the only thing I can fault this thing at. Um, it's a little, I wish it was a thing in the middle to change between the control screens. I have no problem changing between them. Well, except of course, Right now I'm on delay, and I set this up, I go to reverb, I set this up, and where's my delay setting? You don't know anymore. Well, go back to delay. Yeah, but, but I mean, you're sharing controls. You have to make some sacrifices. That's a sacrifice you have to make. You can't look at it and know what's happening. That's a digital pedal, that's what's happening. Uh, I wish the flicky switch was a clicky switch. Other than that, the collider delay and reverb Dual DSP source audio hold safe select. I'm just reading things uh, by source audio. Um, is ridiculously good if you don't need all the algorithms rhythms of the Ventress right there. If you don't need dual reverb engine. If you don't need all the algorithms of the Nemesis right there. If you don't need all the bells and whistles both of them have, which are loads of bells and whistles. The Collider... It's probably going to be the new best-selling pedal by Source Audio. I didn't even know this was coming. They were all about the C4, the C4, the C4, and then I don't even have one. Um, and now the Collider is here, and I'm like, whoa. They should sell the shit out of this. I have no idea what the price point on it is. I know the Ventress is 400 and above. Is it even 500? I don't know. It's definitely up there. I don't know. Is this 399? I literally can't tell you. I should look it up, but I don't think it's online anywhere. So, whatever it is, 
pay that because wow and links below to whatever i can find also something about animals that are at the end but that's at the end what do, what, what do i have to say oh subscribe to this channel we're at i don't know 99.2 thousand we need a million so go subscribe uh support me on patreon if you can you know it gets you more of these ads some of you guys really seems to be a thing now it's an ad how about uh? yeah exactly it is but maybe it's an independently produced ad from someone who doesn't who's not in the pocket of the companies but you don't know Whatever I say is going to be turned around anyway. Freaking YouTube comments really are bugging me and a lot of my colleagues right now. You guys need to back off a bit. Otherwise, you're not going to have any independent channels remaining to do this. And then, then what are you going to do? Then what are you going to do? Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks, Leslie, for switching. Thanks, Dave, for drinking my coffee. And um, animals at the end.